Come through hell and high water to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornelstrom here, and I'm in high water. Our idiom, our expression for supersize your business today is to come, come hell or high water or through hell or high water. Either one has been used. They're used pretty interchangeably these days, especially on the internet. Now, this expression is given credit to being used and documented in America first in 1882. May of 1882, the Iowa... Burlington Weekly Hawk was the name of the paper it was published in. But there is also a story, according to the London Dungeon, that there's a gruesome torture, really bad torture, where they would stick a hot burning poker down someone's throat and then pour water down their throat. So the hell was the hot poker and the high water was the water that was dumped down the person's throat to torture them. Probably, I would imagine that would kill you. I mean, that sounds more like... Uh, more than torture, but I don't know much about torture. So what does this mean? How does this apply to growing and building and supersizing our business? Well, the truth is you will at some times feel like you're going through hell and definitely feel like you're going through high water while you are building and growing and supersizing your business. You will come across problems and situations and challenges that you never even imagined when you first decided to create or go into business for yourself. So, I love this idiom because it reminds me that we need to persevere, that we need to be persistent and consistent and be ever looking at our goal and vision of where we're going. No matter how deep the water gets, we need to make sure we're holding our head above water and creating what it is that we want to create in the world. There's infinite possibilities. There's infinite solutions out there as long as we remind ourselves that there are. So we have to find ways to solve problems and create the business that we want. Or sometimes we need to create the solutions, right? Because no one has done it before. It's really nice when we can model and learn from other people. But that's not always possible. But there always is a way to create whatever it is that we want in our lives. So keep your head above water. If you have any questions or need any help supersizing and growing your business, hit me up. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom, um, a much drier idiom, about spiritual well-being. We're focusing on spiritual well-being for this particular segment and month to coincide with the annual VU 365-day challenge. It's one thing every day that improves us because secretly and maybe not so secretly the best way to supersize and grow your business is to personally develop and grow yourself as a leader of that business all right have an awesome day i'll be with you tomorrow